Hey guys, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be working with ramen noodles. This is the brand I'll be using, the Picante Chicken Flavor, hot and spicy. Um, I'm going to be using um, those noodles to make a Mexican fried ramen noodle. Um, the ingredients will be the crushed ramen, finely crushed, some jalapenos, some rinsed black beans. These are out of a can. They're Goya. Some peppers and onions. Um, and of course, butter, cilantro, sharp cheddar cheese, and daisy sour cream. And then there's going to be salsa, and of course, hot sauce, all that good stuff. I'm making this for my husband. He is a, uh, he likes things hot. So we start off with a tablespoon of the butter. This will help brown the uh, noodles that we're going to be using. Just for heating references, I put it on high and I'm just waiting to melt the butter and then um, I'll show you what I do next. Once you get your butter nice and melted and hot, you're going to turn your stove down to between medium and high. And I'm going to take my crushed ramen and dump that in. And I'm going to brown this for a second. And then when I come back, I'm going to add some water to it just, just, for a few, just for a few minutes until you can see. Right now, they're kind of got a whitish hue to them. It's been about a minute now. Um, I turned up the heat of hair. I have it right before high. And you can see the browning already. Um, but you want it to be more brown than this. If you start to burn, turn down your heat and uh, keep on stirring that up. Let it sit for a second, then stir it. Let it sit for a second, then stir it. And now I'm back and they're nice and brown. And what you're going to want to do right now is go ahead and add your onions into it. Uh oh, and your onions into it. Go ahead and give them some flavor too. And at this point, you want to slowly add water because it's going to steam those noodles. And like I said, slowly. And you want to keep your heat at a medium because you want these noodles to soften up nicely. So I just added a little bit of water, and then once it boils out, I'll probably add another little bit of water. You keep doing this till you find the consistency that you like. And you see the bigger pieces, you're going to want to break those up or they're going to stay hard. I'm still adding water at this point, but just make sure you break up all them bigger pieces and try to get them in there so they can get softened up a little bit too. But you don't want it too soft, not like you boiled them. I have been adding the water periodically for about three minutes now to get to the noodles, the noodles to where I want them, the consistency that I like. I've used about a cup and a half of water. And at this point... You can start adding your beans, which are my black beans. Go ahead and mix them in nice, you know, get them mixed in good. And this is where you want to take your little packet of your chicken flavor that came with the uh, ramen and just dot the whole bag because this is concentrated now. I would say just half, just to give it some flavor. And you can add it and taste it as you go to see if, you know, if you like it saltier, not as salty, hotter, however you want to do it. And this is the point where I want to add my jalapenos. Um, you can add them earlier if you like it spicier. The longer you cook them, it seems to me they just put out more heat. Um, I've only been stirring this for about a minute now prior to the jalapenos. And you just stir those in and cook those to the that you like them to be. Now we are ready to prepare the plate. You want to put your sour cream on. A little bit of salsa. Some cheese. I use sharp, just a little bit of cheese. And 
and then some hot sauce. I'm using green, uh, chili habaneros, just a little bit. And then to garnish, you're going to put your limes. And then squeeze a little lime over the top. And that's the wrap, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. And um, if you have any questions about it, just message me in my inbox. Thanks, guys. Uh, note, don't forget the cilantro. I did in the video, but I'm adding it now. Just put it on top after you've added your lime and everything. And oh my God, it's amazing.